Okay, so this one, it, it's a little bit different. It, be careful. Look at it. It says, express the force as a Cartesian vector. Okay, now what we did before is, I've sort of replicated down there, is what, what we did in the last couple of, the uh, last video was, we said, what exactly is that vector? If I have to go from A to B, how do I get that vector? Okay, and so I've, I've done that here for you. But we're not doing that this time. Instead, imagine that we have a rope and the rope is tied off in two places. It's tied off up above and it's tied down below. And we somehow we know the tension in that rope. But then we need a vector to describe that tension as a force. So how do we do that? All right. Well, we know the endpoints and we know the tension. That's what we've got here. All right. We know the endpoints and we know the tension. So the tension in that rope is 630 newtons. And so my vector r, if we look at that thing there, it, you know, if we find the magnitude on that, Okay, um, let's go ahead. Let's just take a look at that super quick. I'm going to have 4 plus 9 plus 36. Let me just double, triple check that. Um, I think that's right. Yeah, that's right there. Okay. And so that turns out to be 7. So that's a magnitude of seven. We need a vector with the magnitude of 630. Okay, so how are we gonna get, come up with that? Well, what we're gonna do is we're gonna remember that a vector is a magnitude and a direction. So what we'll do is we'll say here that we need an F that has the magnitude of F, but is in the same direction as our vector r. So we use the little u there, stands for unit vector, it has a magnitude of one. So then if we can get that unit vector, then we, we know that what we're gonna, all we have to do is have to go 630, and we're gonna put it in the direction of our unit vector. We just gotta get that unit vector, okay? Well, that's super easy to do because a unit vector, uh, all we have to do is take the vector itself, the vector of interest, and divide it by its own magnitude. Okay, and we, we, we've, got, we've got that. We've got both of those already. So we're looking here then at 2, 3, negative 6, all divided by 7. So my vector that's unit magnitude will be 2 sevenths, 3 sevenths, six sevenths, just like that. So there's my unit vector. All I got to do now is stick that up there with this guy and, and see what happens. All right, so F then, we're going to have 630 on to two sevenths, three sevenths, and minus six sevenths. Okay, and then um, just like just like an algebra, we can pass the six thirty inside to it. There, it's just it's just uh, uh, that magnitude is a magnitude is a scalar, so we just scale all the components up, and so um, six thirty divided by seven is ninety. So we've got ninety times two, ninety times three. And 90 times negative 6. Just like that. Okay, so there. Now we've got a force vector. And if we needed to do stuff, um, we, could, we could do that. Okay.